And now, a City TV special presentation. Doing it right on the wrong side of Queen. I know a place that's on the wrong side of Queen. The booze bottle is cooking and the sound of mighty mean. Well, Mike's kind of playing like a soul's on fire. Bob's moving like a rover on the telephone wire. The two bar cable, seven dollars, not make a seat. You know, within the world of television, there are few people who can withstand the enormous pressures of daily life without losing touch with reality. For six people at City Television, reality has become a fleeting glimpse of a netherworld they will never see again. <laughs> This is the story of the booze mothers, six innocent victims of a musically oriented society, thrust by the power of television beyond their own mediocrity. <laughs> that is City Pulse for tonight. Bill Cameron has yeah, next tonight at 10. Okay. Until then, thanks for tuning in. Good night. Here's it. Nice fade to black. Such a pleasure working with pros. You guys gonna come for a beer? Oh, no thanks, Steve. You know we always brown bag it. Yeah, besides, Steve, we got a lot of cleanup to do. You sure? Yeah, thanks anyways. Steve? What? Uh, on your way past Switchboard, you want to tell that good-looking guy in the cheap sunglasses we want to see him? Okay. See you at 10. Thank you for calling. We have our news test winner. This is a recording. Thank you for calling. We have our news test winner. This is a recording. Dave. Huh? Those guys want to see you for a minute. Great. Okay, let's go. Here's Dave. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I lent you my pick last week and I never got it back. two weeks to the party that doesn't give us a whole lot of time to learn this stuff. You count us in, Dave? One, two, Sorry, guys. Uh, let's face it, mothers. There's no way we're going to be ready in two weeks. Why don't we just pack it in and go have a beer? Gee, gee, hi, Mr. Z. Say, I've been watching you boys for a couple of days. With what you've got, we could go a long way. I've set up a gig at McGurr's for the press tomorrow at 9. Don't forget to dress. You in?
Hey, Bernie, baby, I told you, these guys are going to be monsters. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Listen, I'll catch you later. Wow, 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 fellas. How does it feel to be Mr. Z? Hey. hey, you're on your way. Tomorrow the world, but today. Today you start with a tour of every important center in southern Ontario. <laughs> I didn't know he meant shopping centers. You know, it seems like the sound just isn't cutting in those shopping centers anymore. I don't know. I think it's time to ask Mr. Z for a new PA. Nah. Besides, we still got to get new duds. Yeah, my shirt's had it. Some kid threw a Rocky Road triple scooper at me. That's not Rocky Road. It's Jamoka Fudge. It is not. It is so. It is not. He's right. So, Mike, where's our next gig? Mr. Z's got us booked in some rockin' little club downtown. Downtown? Are you serious, man? That's what he said. Something about 300 bucks and all the fresh fruit we can eat. Fresh fruit? I wonder what he meant by that. I don't know. 300 bucks is all I care about. <laughs> right, yeah. just give me money. What I want, that's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. Well, boys, it's three weeks since I sent you out on the road for fame and fortune. How do you like the music business so far? Oh, <clears throat> well, well, Mr. Z, it's, uh, it's not all it's cracked up to be. You wouldn't care to be more explicit about that, would you? Oh, no, no, but like, like I was saying, like, uh, it's not that great. My girlfriend, she won't talk to me. She won't talk yeah, to me. My wife gives me the cold shoulder now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not to mention the fact that we don't want to spend the rest of our lives playing two bit shopping mm -hmm. centers. Yeah, Mr. Mm -hmm. Z, it feels like we got no future. Yeah, yeah right. Right. All right, all right, boys. I think I know exactly what you need. Elizabeth, I think it's time to make an appointment for the boys. My troubles down to Nantaru. You know that gypsy with the gold tattoo. She's got a pad down and 34 combined. Selling little bottles of the potion number nine. I told her that I was a flop with checks. I've been this way since I knew that. Well, she looked in my palm and she made a man. What you need is the potion number nine. Well, she bent down, turned around, and gave me a wink. She said, I'm gonna mix it up right here in the sink. It smelled like turpentine, looked like Indian ink. I held my nose, I closed my eyes. I took a drink. I didn't know it was day or night. I started kissing. 
Guys, 50,000 albums times 595 times 90% allowing 10% for promotion times 90% allowing 10% for breakage. Less my overhead times your expenses divided by the coefficient of the sales of the prime time number. Fellas, while you were away, your single went right through the roof with a bullet.
<laughs> Don't watch that. Watch this. Hi there. Welcome to my neighborhood. Can you say certified check? Certified check. Sure. I knew you could. Live from the Palais Royale in Toronto and around the world by satellite, City TV and Chum FM present their first international stereo simulcast. It's time to get ready. Turn the sound on your TV down. Turn your stereo up for the rhythm and blues of the Booze Mothers. Steve, we had an idea for a show, and... Well, well, I've got an idea for a show. It's called City Pulse Tonight. It's on in 10 minutes. Let's turn the lights around. Let's go, you mothers. And so, behind the scenes at City TV, where the wildest fiction is so much less improbable than reality, we leave these media mutants. The Booze Mothers have truly become Legends in their own mind. Doing it right on the wrong side of Queen. I know the place, it's on the wrong side of Queen. The booze by the cooking and the sound of mighty mean. Well, Mike's kind of playing like a soul's on fire. Bob's moving like a rover on the telephone wire. So grab up your rabbit if you know what I mean. But doing it right on the wrong side of Queen. Doing it right.
Queen. Queen.